So here is a delicious way to enjoy beets and potatoes this spring. I loved how this dish turned out. It was so delicious. So I knew that I had to do this video very soon for those of you out there who are growing potatoes and fresh spring herbs and beets. So we are going to smash these potatoes and beets and fry them up. They're going to be delicious. It's very similar to some potato fries that I showed you last year. So here are the ingredients and you notice that I don't have measurements. You can just kind of follow along and add a little bit more or a little bit less of some of the ingredients that you like. So we we'll want to start by trimming the beets, take those tops off. You can reserve those and cook those later if you want to. And I am also using some fresh spinach and from the garden. We'll need a lemon, a scallion, some fingerling potatoes, along with some fresh herbs and nasturtium flower petals if you have them, and some minced garlic with some salt and pepper and olive oil and safflower oil and Greek yogurt. So I started by preheating my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I am going to cook these potatoes and beets in little tin foil pouches. So I just drizzled them with a little bit of olive oil and a little sprinkle of salt and I coated them real well and then just tied them up in a little pouch. And so into the oven they go for about 40 to 50 minutes. Now we're going to cook these again so I didn't want to overcook them. Now if you cook your beets for a longer period of time, it will make it easier to peel them, but we don't want them to be mushy or anything like that because we're also going to fry these in just a few minutes. So I also needed some lemon zest and then I wanted to go ahead and juice that lemon as well. And now for my yogurt, uh, just added a tad of the lemon juice. You don't want to add too much. Of the lemon juice and then some fresh herbs like the scallion the dill and some mint along with a good sprinkle of salt and pepper and we will just combine these until it's nice and creamy we're going to serve our vegetables with this so i put that in the refrigerator and my vegetables were done i checked them and they showed just a little bit of resistance so while those were cooling because i need to peel the beets I went ahead and infused some safflower oil with some of that minced garlic. I'm going to use some of this in the vinaigrette that I will toss the vegetables in once they're done cooking. But I also used a little bit for a piece of toast that I want to eat with the meal. So um, I reserved just a tiny bit of the oil, which I will also drizzle over the vegetables later. But I'm going to go ahead here and make the vinaigrette, which has the lemon juice here in there, along with the oil, and then the fresh herbs, some lemon zest, some salt and pepper, and gave this a good whisk. And I set that aside. And now for the fun part. And as I mentioned, you know, if you cook them a long time, that skin will just fall right off. But because we're going to fry them, we want them to have a little bit of structure left to them because we don't want them just falling all apart in the oil. So I smashed them with the palm of my hand, all of the beets and all of the potatoes. As a matter of fact, you can do this a day ahead and just put them in your refrigerator. I'm not cooking all of this for the video. I'm just going to cook one small portion and I just use the rest for a dinner later. So let's go ahead and fry up these potatoes and beets and we'll give them a little sprinkle of salt and into the oil they go. They need to be sizzling real good. And I cooked them for about 10 minutes until the edges were browning up nicely and they were crisping up. This is a really nice way to cook the beets and potatoes because you get a lot of little crispy nooks and crannies. And I went ahead and removed those and let them cool off a little bit. And then I tossed them in that vinaigrette that I made. And I lost the footage for that, but I don't have to show you everything, right? At any rate, I went ahead and also wilted some of those spinach leaves. And I had roasted a chicken earlier. And then I served the potatoes and beets with a little bit of that yogurt on the side and just dip them right in there. I'd also drizzled a little bit more of that garlic oil 
on top of everything and then added just a little bit more of the fresh herbs so with the wilted spinach and then the potatoes and the beets everything was just really really good so I hope you can give this a try and make it your own with whatever it is that you're growing in your garden and if you want some more ideas for recipes feel free to head on over to my channel or over there I have a playlist and there are many more ideas for you. Don't forget to click that bell off to the right of the subscribe button and you'll receive all notifications for my channel. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.